There's something you said uh, in an interview with Dan Kaemba mm -hmm. about uh, someone who was killed carelessly. It yeah. was a reference to someone who had been killed carelessly. Mm -hmm. And your statement was that when the government, when, when you want to kill someone, you have to make arrangements. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? We, I can call it a sandwich. Uh, you see, well, sandwich usually is a Two, two types of bread. Yes, yes, yes. If it is a sandwich of the samaki, samaki cut. So yes. you, you organize how to, to take the, the victim to the scene. Yes, yes. yes. And then you, you organize how to come out of the scene. Okay. Now, if this victim is a cuckoo, yes. then it is a cuckoo sandwich. So if you want to get a kingori, you take him, say, somewhere where people are not there. Yes, you, yes, yes. you get, but uh, if the intention was not to, to kill at that particular time, yes. then uh, things get out of hand. Yes. Then um, there is a, a I, I think, like the JM issue, yes, yes, JM yes. karaoke. Yes. Uh, he, he, he was supposed to kutishwa yes, The way yes. we used to say, if you have a brother who is an OCS, yes. enough mutu anakusumbua, yes. so unai kwandani kutisha. Yes, and yes, then yes, maybe yes. it got out of hand. But, uh, when, during those days when they wanted to kill somebody, yes. they would uh, organize for, like uh, my former schoolmate, JJ, Jacob yes. Juma, yes. they would organize a certain street not to have light, uh, the CCTV not working. So there is a plan on how to take the subject to the place of killing. And it and is then planned there is, meticulously. Yeah. And then there is planned from the scene how to, to the draw. But uh, for the case of JM, it, hap it was not planned. And yes, that yes, is yes. why there was Kutetemeke uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> There was an alarm or something like that. Yes. There was an alarm. Yes. And then they started rushing around, found okay. a vehicle, imeandikwa meat. So. Okay. But if they would have intended to kill him, yes. and if they would have intended to kill him on that day, yes. maybe they would have planned for him to go somewhere, somewhere out of different. Somewhere hidden or something. And it is controlled in such a way that the subject, or let's say the victim in this case, mm -hmm. is everything is designed in such a way that he or she will find themselves where they are wanted. Yeah. No so, escaping. No escaping. And uh, my, my, when my mind, when I think about such things, mm -hmm. like when let's say someone, uh, mm -hmm. I understand, kuna kitu ingine tena ulisema, mm -hmm. there are murderers mm -hmm. and there are people who kill kikazi. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. Like necessary uh, eliminations, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. in this like case, the hangman in committee. Yeah, yeah the, like the hangman in committee. Mm -hmm. uh, in the mindset of someone who carries out a job like that one, mm -hmm. um, do, do you get to a place where you, you are in charge of how long someone has on this earth? Like, watch a kunye. Watch a kunye chupa zingine mbili ndi waende. Let me give him two more hours. As in, ama that interferes with the plan. Uh, I think uh, the person who is sent is just sent, like if you take the case of uh, John F. Kennedy, yes, yes, you're yes. just given a picture, you're told to go and eliminate so and so. No emotion. So, no emotion. But uh, that is part of why I've, I've come out publicly, because yes. I know those people. Those people, like my boss, James Opio, yes. these people, I think uh, the government should come up and uh, have a a treatment. We have psychologists who treat them at whatever. Yeah, yeah. They were just left and uh, they are really suffering because of what they did. Yes, that yes. is part of why I'm, I'm coming out public. I meet them, I do it, mm -hmm. and uh, these people are supposed to be taken to Dr. Frank Njeng and some people like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There, there's, um, there's, there was a period, and I think we read this in school, there mm -hmm. are a few politicians who died in road accidents. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you later find out that mm. these were very well choreographed. Yeah. And in uh, your detailed explanations, mm. you, you uh, explain how Bishop Alexander Muge was killed, Kill, yeah. right? Mm. And you explain how they followed, before you tell us what hostile uh, surveillance, surveillance is, is yeah. uh, there is a way they followed him. Mm. Uh, they, an accident was created, mm. but then someone comes out and... The goes, accident was not created, it happened. It happened. Mm. So, uh, th but then... Even after this person is hurt, the mm. bishop is hurt, mm. someone comes and poisons him yeah. and then goes back. Mm. Is this for confirmation? Yeah. Like, no taking of chances? Actually, what happens yes. is that, uh, let me give uh, three quick examples. Yes. My friend, Inspector Wajakoya, uh, he's, he's, a, he's now a politician. Yes. 
uh, he talked to Masinde Mudro. Yes. And somebody was told, let him not come back alive in Kenya. So this, uh, whoever was sent, uh, took some powder, gave it to the air hostess and says, Unaona ile ndege na ile kiti namba A76 or something. Yes. That person, akitisha kahawa or anything, place this. Yes. This was to activate a heart attack. It was to activate heart attack. And I also have to quickly say, uh, the case of um, Bishop Muge. Bishop Muge, what, what many people don't know are two things. Bishop Muge, one thing, he was a bishop of two dioceses. Yes. He was the bishop of Eldred and he was the acting bishop of Katakwa in Busia. So when he was coming out of Busia, uh, the, he, was, he, he was being harassed on the road. You know, we Kenyans, somebody scratches your vehicle, you stop, you wait for the police. Yes, yes, yes. So him having been a former GSU person, he knew what was happening. Yes. So he, he you, you know, he was a bishop, He's but trained. really a police Yes. So he was running away from them. Mm. And then there was somebody who had stolen milk. So, uh, most of the people here are doing nyayo milk. Mm. Somebody had stolen nyayo milk and he was running away. Yes. So the bishop decided to zigzag, but yes. he saw that, Lord, he didn't know that a thief, a thief runs very fast, faster mm. than normal. Yeah. So they had an accident, yes. which was a normal accident. And then somebody, an inspector of police, who was the crew commander, came out, found uh, the bishop lying on, on the steering wheel, mm. bleeding, and then took out a, a handkerchief that was laced with something. Then he had the bishop uh, inhale inhaled that. Yes, so yes, whatever yes. the bishop inhaled is what killed him, not the road accident. The accident was there. Uh, the accident was there, which was normal because when they met, the bishop tried to get out of the road yes. and the milk driver also tried to get out of the road and they met off-road. Okay. So, so this accident happens. Mm. It was unplanned, right? And, but they were mm, following him. Yeah, they were following Before we get back to this scene, mm. please explain to us what is hostile surveillance. Hostile surveillance... I've also been a victim of hostile surveillance. <laughs> you, uh, okay. Uh, hostile surveillance, the advantage of hostile surveillance, if you have the knowledge that some of us have, yes. is that uh, at any time, if you are not on good terms, if, 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 if you are not on good terms with either DCI or the NIS, yes, yes, yes. you are supposed to be monitored, your movement, whatever. Yes. Even right now. If I have to give an example, an example of... Uh, you are a crook. Yes. You organize. Uh, so this guy must f monitor you, yes, yes, either yes. to stop you or to find evidence. So that is that is surveillance. Mm. But when they perform hostile, this is a case where they have failed in monitoring you. Maybe yes. you have a background uh, in, uh, in security. security, like Bishop Muge. Yes. So they try to show you that uh, we are there with you. Yes. Uh, they could they could even come to you. You have a compound on a watchman apple. They come tell the watchman, talker, na ka. He takes a newspaper, he, he turns it over upside down. So mm -hmm. you just feel people. But the good thing about hostile, if, if at all you are trained like me, yes, is uh, I get the impression that they are failed in the normal host, in the, the oh. normal. But hostile uh, answering you is uh, to make you nervous to know that we are watching you. Oh, it's the English word for harassment. Harassment, yeah. Okay. So, uh, so but a good uh, surveillance, the subject is not supposed even to know that he or she is being surveilled on. Mm. Okay. So in the mind of a trained person, like mm. say someone like uh, Bishop Muge was being trailed mm. and then an accident happened that was unplanned. Yeah. Uh, and this officer had poison already. Mm. Does it mean that they were following him to poison him elsewhere, mm. but then the accident happened, but then the mission has to be completed? No, it was planned. If you can remember, yes. Ouko had an accident uh, yes. Kericho, when, he was, he, when he had just seen Peter Kibiego Lagat. Yes. Peter Kibiego Lagat was a nephew to President Moy. Yes. So it was a matter of going to tell uh, Ambio Mjombako, yes, yes, sending yes. him. And then, you know, you know when you go there, a commando, ukona kila kitu. Yes, yes, yes. kisu, ukona nini, ukona poison. Ukona. <laughs> yes, yes, Because yes, yes. if you plan to, to, you, to use a knife, Yes. And you have no access to the person, so you yes. come back. So you have to have a knife, you have to have a pistol, you have to have... You, you have to have Back a, up. The, the bishop has to go to heaven. Like, that is... Yeah. <laughs> yes. 
Whoa. And uh, th like the Uko case, mm -hmm. uh, it's a case of um, the first time his assassination attempt backfired. Mm -hmm. Because that's where he, 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 he hitchhikes on a, a tractor mm -hmm. and goes to Kisumu. Yeah. Right? And then the, the I, I told Gorsungu yes. that the tra uh, Gorsungu asked me, the commission, I yes. mean, yes. they asked me if uh, Selina was alive mm -hmm. because they had even visited the place and found Selina's grave. Who is Selina? Uh, Selina was the, the, the lady who had Uko crying. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yes. Selina Were. I, I, I told him, I think Selina is still alive. Yes. And also, Uyo Kijana Shikuku, I think. That was when he was being abducted yeah, from his house. From his house. And this was after he had survived the assassination attempt. Yeah, after Na yeah. Nyumbani. But uh, in a few days, say a week or something after uh, uh, surviving the... Uh, uh, the assassination, yeah. So does this mean, like, uh, at that time, if the president wanted you dead, mm. it was a done deal? Not just in Kenya. <laughs> Anywhere? Mean, worldwide. worldwide. If the president said, Maliza, will you, that's it. Go to Tanzania. You'll find Oscar Kabona. What happened to Oscar Kabona? Go to Uganda. What happened to Kiwanuka? The, I mean, we have that knowledge because we are Kenyans, but... Uh, the world during those days, okay. it was that way. Okay. That was how the whole world was. That was how it is. And yes. uh, what, what was the style that they tried to assassinate him the first time? Who? Ouko. Ouko. Yes. Uh, Ouko, that, the accident. He was a, he was a foreign he was, affairs minister. He, he, yeah, he was having that. And you see, being a uh, foreign affairs minister, he was a member of NSAC, National, National Security. Security. Uh, so yes. he knew uh, you, you have to undergo a certain training. So he knew this an assassination attempt and he jumped through. Yes, uh, yes, yes. He had an accident like Ouko, not uh, like Bishop Muge. Yes. He had an accident, but uh, Muge had not, you, you know, Muge was a GSU man, not an NIS man. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, Ouko had uh, such an accident, but he knew what was happening. Yes. So yes, he yes. jumped on a lorry, a uh, tractor, and the tractor fell, uh, stayed, is it 45 days? Yes. And went to meet God. Okay. <laughs> and then you you also say mm -hmm. that uh, as if you are a prominent person mm -hmm. and you know people are going to kill you and you know who they are, mm -hmm. you cannot go public. Yeah. You cannot go public. Uh, you die in private. As in you 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 cannot. <laughs> is, is as in what's the essence of privacy in death? Uh, what happens is that uh, let me take an example of Jacob Juma. Yes. Jacob Juma, he was a whistleblower like me. Yes. But uh, unfortunate about him, we went to the same school, but I went there many years earlier than him. Yes. Bungoma boys. Uh, the thing with him is uh, he was using information to make business deals. Yes. And uh, he mentioned the current president. Yes. And said, if anything happens to me, now if Dr. Kingori wants to finish you, Yes. What would stop Dr. Kingori from finishing you so that they blame the president? Okay. So when I and I can even give an example. NTV was sharing me the other time about uh, uh, Oko. Yes. And an MP from Western uh, sent me a message, a text message. And I was telling, and I was wondering, at, just at the time when uh, the Oko thing was there. Yes. You see, some of these careless things, because if anything would have happened to me after the Uko uh, tape, mm. people would have blamed an MP from... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> from yeah, Western. Yeah. Yes, yes, eh? yes, yes, I, yes. He has a name similar to one of the most prominent uh, mm. prophets, mm. but mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> NTV would not allow me to say that. Yes. He comes up and say, talks such... So that is why I want privacy. Yes. Because if anything would have happened to me in February, yes. people would have rushed to Matsaha yes. and, 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 and asked that MP, you see the person you are threatening when yes. he, he has yes. died, yes. but yes. you see some other people would have killed me. Yes. So yes. that is why when you hear, you, are, you, you just leave it, you don't talk. Like, like when this fellow says, uh, if anything happens to me, blame Ruto. Okay. And somebody else kills him. Yes, because yes, yes. He kills him not because he has anything against let's say yes. Jacob Juma but he kills it so that uh, Ruto... So the science is you keep quiet so yeah. that uh, the death not. can be easy to investigate. No. 
If you come publicly and say so and so wants to kill me, somebody else will kill. We'll so you make advantage. it easier for somebody. Ah. When you think even if you only have one enemy, is there anybody with one enemy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, uh, I, I have understood the concept of compound enemies. Yeah. Uh, when Bishop, when, when Bishop Muge was murdered, mm -hmm. uh, you know the officer yeah. who poisoned him. Yeah. And then one day in Nairobi, mm -hmm. he bumps into you on the streets yeah. and he was very mad at you. Mm -hmm. What goes on in your mind at such a moment? Uh, yeah. The officer who applied the poison, uh, the handkerchief on Bishop Muge. Yes. I met him. But when I met him, I didn't know him. Okay. Uh, when they came from Nairobi to Eldred, there were three. And then they picked a constable from our office in Eldred. Yes. This constable is the one who talked to me at Mahindi Hotel. Yes. Mahindi Hotel is just next to the police station. So he talked to me and told me everything. Yes. So when I went and talked, we, the, the fact that I gave the fellows, when I, when I, when I told this fellow, I can't remember that. He says, but you, it is only my name you didn't, you, you, you said everything. And then from there when I went to sleep, yes. I tried to remember what, the anyway, that constable is called Dan. Yes. Let me not give the other name. Mm. Constable Dan is the one who told me at uh, Mahindi Hotel. Yes. Now when I went back that day when I met the inspector near Utali House. Yes, yes. And uh, he was so mad. He said, well, if you have a cousin, you have to kill me. <laughs> so, mm. it is wrong, actually. Mm. What he did mm. was not killing Kikazi. Mm. It was Kitu Ikijulikana, mm. he would be in trouble. Uh, this was the time when Kibaki was the president. So oh. there was a, uh, when, when Moi was the president. The, Nothing could have happened. No, it would even anima promotion. <laughs> whoa. It would even anima promotion. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then, um, Bishop Muge was... Uh, GSU trained. Mm -hmm. Father Kaiser also Re was... Company. Yes, Reiki mm -hmm. Company. Some of the baddest. Mm -hmm. and then we have Father Kaiser who was also uh, Marine. assassinated. Marine. A Marine. Mm -hmm. They are both uh, with... Uh, they both have a security background. Mm -hmm. What is going on there? Is there a relationship between uh, trained people who join the clergy and clashing with the government? There's something about how they get treated? No, theirs is unique. Because if you go to SEK and look for anybody who has been an Askari, you can't get it. And if you go to the Padres you find around, very few are uh, marine. Yes, yes. But yes. Uh, I would uh, briefly just say that uh, getting such a person is not easy. Okay. Uh, if it is anybody, you know, you are, you, are, you, are, you are looking for, it's like a doctor. Yes. When you tell a doctor, according to his training, yes, yes, una yes. malaria. Now, when he hears that, he himself, yes. Yes. you see, uh, somebody who's an expert, a commando, mm. trying to eliminate him is not easy. And uh, that is why they had to go to Busi and back. And uh, this fellow had to be taken from Transmara to Ngong Road to Naivasha. I think uh, catching them, it's like chasing Eliud Kipchoge. I don't know how you can get him. I mean, okay. but you can get him, but it is hard. Eh?